Hey, what's up y'all? My name is Chris Abbott, but all my friends just call me Abbo. And in this video, we're going to be walking you through uh, some different church growth strategies that you can be using, especially if you're on a shoestring budget. And this video is specifically going to be geared towards church planners. So let's dive into how to plan a church with no money coming up. <laughs> All right, what's up y'all? Welcome back. If you are new to the channel, uh, thanks for checking us out. This channel is dedicated to helping pastors and church leaders be more effective with social media technology and to be able to grow their church using things that actually work right now. So this video is specifically going to be outlining a couple of different ideas that you can do if you are planning a church on a shoestring budget or if you're planning a church with no money at all. Right? I know that is a lot of us out there. So uh, even if you have a small church and you're just trying to grow, right, but you have a shoestring budget, this video is going to help you. So let's dive in because I am even going to share with you how you can get $120,000 of free money from Google so let's dive in. Okay, so the first thing that you can do is you can actually take advantage of a program that Google has called the Google Grant. This is one of my favorite things uh, out there on the internet right now and it is perfect for church plants. So basically what it is, is if you have a 501c3, then Google has a program where they will give you $10,000 a month in free Google AdWords, right? So even if you don't have any money in your bank account right now, you can have $10,000 a month every single month from Google in order to uh, run AdWords on their platform and put your ads in front of people that are actively searching for it. This is super cool, right? And it's literally as good as it sounds. It's $10,000 a month, $120,000 dollars a year in free Google money, right? So the reason they do this is because it's a tax write-off for them and it's also a lifetime program, meaning if you get approved, you'll actually have this for the lifetime of the program forever long. It has it. My church has had this for going on gosh, five or six years now. I literally went running through the church, freaking out and screaming at the top of my lungs when we got approved for it. It's as awesome as it sounds. So we literally send between 6,000 and 8,000 people per month to our website using Google's money. Right, so we've got a campaign set up where we talk to people about salvation, about God's promise to heal, and where we invite people to church and we're using Google's money to do it. So this program is amazing. Now, uh, make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I'll tell you how you can figure out if your church qualifies for the $10,000 a month. So stick around to the end of the video. All right, number two, fill the fridge. Now this you can do on a very small budget or you can even get people to sponsor this. But all you wanna do is you wanna reach out to the local elementary school and you just want to tell uh, the principal that you're a new church plant, that you are really, really excited and appreciative of everything that all the teachers are doing, right? Especially with how crazy everything's been with COVID and having to navigate uh, you know, digital learning and online learning and then in-person learning. Just to say thank you, we just kinda of wanna give back to you guys. Now would it be okay if I came in just once a month and just filled the fridge in the teacher's lounge? Right, so you just wanna come in there and just fill the fridge with you know, sodas and drinks and uh, maybe some snacks. If you have absolutely no money at all, you can ask some different people in the community or different people in your church to actually sponsor this, right? So it doesn't cost a lot of money to get some sodas and you know, coffee drinks and Starbucks drinks and that kind of stuff, but you can have people sponsor this and you can just go in one month and fill the fridge with a bunch of drinks and they can also leave a bunch of you know, Little Debbie snack cakes or you can have some people in the church uh, bake cookies or brownies or something like that just to add a personal touch. and then. I recommend always leaving behind a note, just letting them know that you filled the fridge, right? And that it was your church that did that and how much you appreciate it. All right, number three is host a community dance. Now this is cool because it doesn't actually cost you anything, right? But people love these types of things. So you could have a father-daughter dance, you could have a mother-son dance, you could just have a family dance, it could be a Sadie Hawkins dance, right? It doesn't matter, but just opening this up to a community dance, having some music, uh, maybe some drinks or even some finger foods, right? But all your doing is just opening up the doors of your church and inviting people to come in and have a great time, right? People don't remember what you say, they remember how you make them feel. And so whenever you do a cool free community event like this, people remember the way that they felt when they were on your campus and they were having a great time at your church. So this is a great way to reach out to your community, to build relationship, and to make people feel good about your church. All right, number four is you can hire local hairstylists, nail salons, and makeup artists and have them them go out and do makeovers at a local women's shelter. So the cool thing is, again, if you don't have any money whatsoever and you can't actually hire them, you can talk to some of the local nail salons, makeup artists, and hairstylists and ask them to donate their time and talent in order to kind of give back to the community and help uh, some of the women at the women's shelter. 
right? Again, just another great way to help some of these women feel beautiful and feel valued, right? And known and loved, and they have your church to thank for it. So even on a small budget, you can hire people to do this, or you can simply reach out to some of the makeup artists, nail salons, and hairstylists and ask them to donate their time for free. You might have to call around to a few different places, but you'll definitely be able to find someone who's willing to go out there and donate their time. And this is just an incredible way to kind of create some goodwill in the community. Okay, so before I get to my last three points, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We're putting out brand new videos every single day, five days a week. And if you hit that little notification bell, then you'll get notified every single time we drop a new video. All right, number five is a strip club outreach. Now, uh, bear with me here uh, before you turn the video off, right? The best way to do this is to get a bunch of women in your church to take flowers to uh, some of the local uh, strip clubs and actually hand flowers out to some of the dancers there. Right, so a lot of people that are stuck in that, whether they're in that life because uh, they needed the money or because they got hooked on drugs or alcohol, right, or they just made a couple of bad decisions that led them there, right? One of the things they haven't had in a really long time is somebody giving them something and asking nothing in return. So to make them feel known and loved and valued, right, this is one of the best ways you can do that. But you open yourself up to you know, some potentially bad situations if you have men doing that. You definitely don't want guys from your church going out to strip clubs to give flowers to strippers. So the best way to do this is simply to have some women donate their time and go out uh, and do this. Again, you just want to uh, kind of connect with some of these women, hand them flowers, let them know that Jesus loves them, that your church cares about them, and that you're praying for them, and that if there's anything that they need, they can always reach out to your church. Right? That's it. You're not asking for anything in return. You just want to make them feel known and loved and let them know that you're praying for them. All right, number six is a chili cook-off. Now, I love this because this is a great way to get the community involved and kind of get the word out about your church. And again, remember, people don't remember what you say. They remember how you make them feel. And so if people come out to a chili cook-off, they're going to have a great time, right? So you can have people from all over the community who want to come out and make their own chili and you can have a giant contest. Or you can even go out to a bunch of local restaurants and have each of them make chili and come out, right? And now you're getting local restaurant owners involved and you're getting a bunch of local businesses involved. And then maybe you give out a prize for whoever has the best chili. You can also invite a bunch of local bands to play during the event, which is kind of fun too, right? The more local people that you can involve in this, the better a turnout you're going to have because they're going to help get the word out, right? If you've got a couple of local bands, they're going to put the word out on social media to all of their fans to come check you out at the chili cook-off. If you've got a bunch of local restaurants and local businesses that are competing, they're going to put the word out to their people and their followers to get them to show up, right? And then all you have to do is just help put that event on blast and invite the entire community out to eat some chili, listen to some great music, and have a great time. All right, and finally, family movie night. Right, so I love this idea because you can open up your church, you can have a family movie night in the sanctuary. If it's nice weather, you can do movies on the lawn where people just come out and they bring their own chairs and they set up and then you shoot a movie up onto the side of the church or uh, onto a giant bed sheet or you can rent a portable screen. Just show a family movie like a Disney movie or a Pixar movie or something like that. Invite people out. Families love coming out to family movie night and it's just fun, right? You can pop some popcorn. You can even have your youth group selling concessions to raise money for local missions or for for the church or for the youth group or maybe even for summer camp, right? But this is just a great way to get people involved and provide a great event for people to come out and it doesn't actually cost you anything. All you're doing is showing a fun family movie, you're selling a couple of concessions and you're giving people the opportunity to have a great time at your church. All right, so at the beginning of this video, I promised to show you a way that you can find out if you are eligible to get the $10,000 a month in free Google money. So we actually put together a free Google grant eligibility checker so all you have to do is click on the link in the description below and you can just answer a couple of quick questions and find out right away if your church is eligible to get the $10,000 a month in free Google money. And it'll even provide you with next steps on how to go about doing that. So hope you're having a phenomenal day. We'll see you soon.